Uh, welcome back everybody to part two of the preparation of ethers and in this part I'll be discussing uh, the, Wil the Williamson ether synthesis so let's get started the first thing you guys need to know okay is that the starting material is an alcohol okay so it could be any type of alcohol again it could be primary secondary tertiary the starting material can be any type of alcohol excuse me the reagents you use is sodium hydride and you use an alkyl halide and the alkyl halide must be primary okay so um, this thing right here must be primary okay so alkyl halide okay must be a primary alkyl halide that's the first important thing the second important thing is the, the the relationship of the sodium to this hydrogen, okay? This is not a covalent interaction between the two. This is an ion, uh, ionic interaction. This sodium, in essence, has a positive charge, and this hydrogen has a negative charge, okay? So the reason why this hydrogen has a negative charge is because there is a lone pair, a pair of electrons on the hydrogen, okay? So, that's very important. So, sodium hydride react, uh, relationship equals ionic. Okay, that's very important. It's not covalent. And um, those are the things you need to know. And again, this X right here. So, let's write the last thing that's pretty important. The X equals halogen. So, iodine, chlorine... Um, bromine, those are the typical typical ones we see, okay? So those are the things you guys need to know. Alkyl halide must be primary. The relationship between sodium and hydrogen is ionic. And um, X equals halogen, so this could be bromine, chlorine, um, iodine. Those are the typical ones we see. And again, the starting material is always an alcohol. Okay, any kind, so I'll write any for any type of alcohol, primary, secondary, or tertiary. And the product of this reaction is an ether drawn as such, okay? So you guys can tell that what happens is that the H comes off and um, there's a one, two carbons here and this basically adds on or substitutes to this oxygen here, okay? So there you have it, the two carbon, one, two, one, two. Those are the two carbons, one, two, one, two, okay? So that's the product of this reaction. So let's go over the reaction mechanism, okay? So I'm going to erase this, but I'll use the same example for the reaction mechanism. So let's get to it right away, okay? So the reaction mechanism. Again, if uh, this is your alcohol, we'll draw the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen. If that's your alcohol and you're reacting it first, with sodium hydride, okay. I like to keep. Um, let's draw this a little bit larger. I like to keep a space, a pretty large gap between sodium and hydrogen, because I don't want people to think that it is an it is a um, covalent interaction. It's an ionic interaction, okay. Sorry for the blurriness. The blurriness will go away pretty shortly, okay. So now what happens is that first step this hydrogen right here okay again it has a lone pair on it has two electrons on it um, will form make a bond with this hydrogen over here okay so that's the first part of the first step now what happens now is that the pair of electrons right here goes on to this oxygen okay byproduct of this step is H2 okay hydrogen, diatomic hydrogen, okay? So the result of this first step is this oxygen now bearing a negative charge, okay? And uh, now this is the part where the alkyl halide comes into play. So again, the alkyl halide we'll be focusing on, let's just say, um, let's be generic and let's just put X to uh, maintain consistency. So again, X could be any type of um, halogen 
and this was an alkyl halide we were looking at. So what happens, this, is, this aspect of the reaction mechanism follows an SN2 reaction mechanism, okay? So let's write that right here, S, N, let's actually write a little bit higher, follows an S, N, 2 type of mechanism, okay? What happens is, you form this oxygen right here, forms a bond uh, with this carbon right here, okay? This carbon right here, while kicking off this halogen with a pair of electrons. Like that, and you kick off the halogen okay and the product of the step and which is the product the ether your result which your ether and that's all it is to the Williamson ether synthesis first step hydrogen makes a bond with hydrogen over here a pair of electrons go into the oxygen you form H2 as a byproduct now you have this intermediate with oxygen now bearing a negative charge for having an extra pair of electrons, lone pair, and it forms a bond with this carbon here and kicking off the halogen. And there's your ether. Okay? So let's go. That's all it is, the Williamson ether synthesis. There's nothing there's nothing else to it. Let's go over one example sample problem and I won't go over the mechanism because it follows the same mechanism okay but let's go over an example another one so let's just say we have um, let's make it an interesting one let's say we have an aromatic ring right you have an aromatic ring you have alcohol right here Let's react it with okay, sodium hydride. So let's write an example over here. Sodium hydride, and let's have a primary alkyl halide. So let's put bromine here. And let's put another aromatic ring here. Okay. So the product of this step. I mean, excuse me, the product of this reaction will be simply, you still have your aromatic ring, okay? You still have your oxygen there. The only thing that happens, you replace the H with this piece here, okay? And that's all it is to it. This whole piece, including this carbon right here, this is the carbon that's going to bind to this oxygen right here. That's the piece that replaces that H, and then you have this as your product. Okay, so you have your carbon there. Okay, and that's all it is to it. Let's just check to see if I ha if I I have the same number of carbons. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three. One two, three, good. So that's all it is to the uh, to this Williamson ether synthesis, okay? So there you have it. Uh, those are the two ways you can form an ether, uh, starting off uh, one way with an alcohol and the other way with an alkene. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. Um, feel free to leave a comment and uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening. Uh, this is Mobile 12 and I'm signing out.